Lambda Federation. Hello there, gamers. Welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda. Wait, did I really just call you all gamers? Why? Uh, anyway, let's get started with the news. As many probably know, Eric Walpaw was one of the writers on the Half-Life 2 episodes as well as being a writer on the Portal series. Back in 2017, however, he left Valve to work on Double Fine Psychonauts 2, as he worked on the original game as well. In the meantime, he would work in his niche's juice bar. This apparently didn't take long, though. Wolpo has returned to Valve somewhere in 2018 as a contracted worker rather than a full-time employee, so technically you can't say that he is fully back at the company. But he's still involved with whatever the company is working on. So what could he be penning up over at Valve? Is it HLVR? We wouldn't know until Valve comes forward to confirm it, so I guess we'll keep waiting for that. Good luck to Walpaw on whatever he's working on. Man, Pinkerton returned and now Walpaw? Valve's new office must be really fancy, I guess. Silent Escape Induction is a brand new indie source engine game being developed by Pro Bones. Now, you may have heard of Silent Escape before, there is a mod with the same name that came out in 2012 by the same developer. This is not a sequel or a prequel though, this is a full-on reimagining of the game. The story is completely rewritten, the graphics are improved, and it's going to have three times the maps the original had. It promises much more on its ModDB page. However, currently we don't really have all that much to show off except for the trailer which is online on this channel in glorious 4K. I'll leave a card at the end of the video. A link to its ModDB page is in the description below. Max Payne in Half-Life? What? Of course I want that. Yes, it's real. It's called half Pain, and it's armed with a media update. This media update includes a really nice trailer seen in the background right now. It also includes random gameplay mods, they change while you're playing to make the experience a whole lot more painful. Or really fun to stream. Which is a really nice segue to the next thing they added. Twitch integration. Apart from that, the M249 from Opposing Force has been added to the game as a nice weapon you can use against your enemies. Yes, in slow motion. More on this update can be found on the ModDB page, which is linked in the description. Hmm, maybe I should stream this mod someday. Now, Planet Philip may be gone out of the Half-Life community, this doesn't mean the end for mapping challenges. The Source modding community is having a Half-Life 2 Episode 1 mapping competition. You need to make a map that resembles the heart and feel of Episode 1 so well, it almost feels like it should have been in the game. There are a few rules though. It must be built on Source 2013, and custom content should be credited, and permission has to be granted for said content. You have until January 26th to make the map as best as you can and to submit it to the right place, which can be found in the tweet linked in the description. I wish you all good luck. It seems like Gordon keeps getting himself into a lot of trouble. Ross Scott has returned with his famous series called Freeman's Mind where he plays Gordon Freeman as he traverses the dangerous lands of City 17 and its close regions. In this episode, he… well, I could tell you about all the things that are going to happen in this episode, but then there won't be a reason to go and watch it yourself. No, wait, ho hold up, you do. It's Ross Scott. Ross. Scott. A link can be found in the description which links to the new episode. Entropy Zero has returned this year with a new video showing off some gameplay in a Nova Prospect looking environment that appears to be taken over somewhat by Ant Lions. The video is mainly here to show off how far along the mod is in development, and it's starting to look really cool. I especially love the voice of the protagonist. You don't really have that much in Source mods. We also have some exclusive screenshots straight from Bretman himself. Bretman is a Lambda Gen contributor for far longer than me. I really like his work so far, especially the lighting used in Nova Prospect. If you want to see the video yourself, it's linked in the description below. Go and give it some love. Prospect, the mod that continues the story of Adrian Shepard, has released a news update asking people for help on the development for the mod. 
Richard Seabrook has announced that the mod will stay on the Source engine too. The project was going to move to Unreal Engine if Valve didn't come through with an updated version of Source, but Valve did come through, so Rich is happy again. He needs all sorts of people, from writers to voice actors, but the main thing he really needs is a C++ programmer. The programmer needs a few other requirements too, but those are all in the official blog post Rich made on the Prospect Steam page. I have linked it in the description if you're interested. And that was the end of this week's episode of All Things Lambda. I've lost count. Wait, episode 27. This was episode 27. Whoa, time flies. Like Half-Life stuff? We're on other platforms too. They're on screen as I blabber on about how amazing it is to join our Discord server. Lots of cool folks there. Okay, the graphic is gone. Don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon real good to never miss another episode of All Things Lambda. The end is nigh!